Okay, here we are. We've got a little project going on. A little something to play around with. I ended up with this base cannon. A friend of mine brought it over. They had put a guitar cabinet woofer in here. He said it sounded horrible. Well, of course, because it's not made for moving air, just sound. So, there's your big bad Jensen special design. Yeah. Anyway, this is coming out. So, <clears throat> it had an 8 in it. And they cut it out, but they run the screws in the cardboard, which we know is not going to last. So I've got an idea. I've got a couple of brads here that I've got to remove, but after that I'm going to run the router bit with a flush trim bit all the way around the inside to cut this completely out. <clears throat> then I'm going to cut... One of these is going to fit down inside. The other just happens to fit almost exactly on the top. Then we'll cut this hole open. And in the box, if I can get it open, it's on the back side. It's a Nakamichi subwoofer. I just happen to have three of them. And... I figured I would take this one and put it in this box and we'll see what it sounds like. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I've got these two pieces. These were the centers cut out uh, the last time I done a box. So I'm going to take the glue and I'm going to glue these two together like so. And then I'll take my circle cutter, which has already got the pilot here for it. And uh, I'm going to cut this out, and I'm probably going to sink the subwoofer, I'm not sure yet. Um, but at any rate, the, I'm going to cut this out for the sub. This bottom wing will be cut narrower so it'll fit down inside the hole. <clears throat> this is a ported box. I don't know the frequency yet. i got to calculate the airspace and the port, you know, depth and all that good mass, but... <clears throat> Excuse me. So for right now, we're just going to focus on getting it mounted. I can take that port out. I can seal it. I can do whatever, whatever I want. But right now, I just want to focus on getting the sub mounted. So I got the circle jig set up to make the plug for my base cannon that I'm modifying. I'll show you here. <clears throat> this was my first test cut. And I'm glad I did it because for some reason I measured wrong. And uh, it would have been too small. So, actually, that's a little more than I wanted to cut for a test cut. So, anyhow, I recommend you doing a test cut first. And uh, if it, like, cut, like, just paper thin all the way around. Take your circle jig off, measure it, and then go for it. So, anyway, that's half. <clears throat> Some people make the full pass, but, you know, I usually cut half at a time. And uh, if you've got a plunge rider, the trick for these is you've got this stop here, right here. If you don't want to really cut into your work, <laughs> like I do here on this table, which is just scrap wood, what you can do is you can get the same thickness material that you're cutting on. You stick it in there. Well, you set the router up. You run the plunge all the way down to the bits, just touching the material. You know that's zero, that's the top. Slide your wood gauge in here, run your stock down and lock it down. You might barely graze the surface of this, but pretty much you're going to cut all the way through. Hopefully we're going to have like just a paper thin layer left and we'll have to push the plug out and, you know, do a little sanding and that should be it. So anyway, circle jigs. If you cut holes for speakers, you need one of these. I don't care if you if you look one up, <clears throat> and uh, some of them are fifty bucks. I think I paid twenty five for this, but I'd rather have the one that you know has all the holes in it. But this one here is a little manual deal, and so you have to do a little thinking. So maybe that's why I miscut it. But anyway, here's the plug. Uh, we'll be back later. I'll show you 
when I, when I cut the inside out. But uh, here we go. All right, this is after the cut. It cut just a little bit in. But this is a sacrificial board, so over here it didn't cut so bad. So it's no big deal. This has got undercoating on the back side, so I use this for whatever. So here's the piece. I had to go to the router table and use a flush trim bit. You can see that better on the inside because where the screws were run in, it pushed the wood out. I mean the paper, excuse me. And the plug wouldn't fit. So I went to my router table and I used a flush trim bit and run around the inside and uh that's a scrap bucket. So this is my plug and it fits. Yeah, <laughs> it fits. It's it's a it's a nice fit. I'm not worried about being perfectly tight because this is all messed up. If it wasn't messed up, I could make it where you got to tap it in. But you remember, I'm going to put resin in this, so I'll this will be glued to this, and it'll sit down flush on the top here and I'll run some brads in from the side then I'll pour resin in here and roll this tube around and resin will coat all this inside and when I'm done I'll turn it upside down all the resin will run up it'll fill all these little pockets up and this will all be one piece in okay so I was just showing you that so the next thing I gotta do is glue these two pieces together I've got a an eighth inch pin to center them up. I'm going to glue them together, put some clamps on it, let it sit overnight, come back in, and when I get back, I'll do my measurements twice, <laughs> and I'll cut an inch and a half all the way through here to cut out for the 10 inch subwoofer. And then that gets dropped in, and we, we can take it in and play it. So. Let me glue this together and uh, when it's dry I'll come back.